What is going on guys, I'm MKC Technology and welcome to another tech video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my PC setup for the rest of 2019 and 2020. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like some more videos, comment down below and please check out all the links to my social media and also um, please support my channel by uh, donating to my PayPal links to all of which are in the description box down below. I'll also leave links to all of the parts that I have in my computer uh, in the description box down below so please be sure to check that out with that being said let's get started Alright, so before I get started with this video, I'm sorry for the bad camera quality, and if there's any bad mic quality, I am sorry about that too. Um, the reason that I that the camera and the mic quality is set up like this is because I don't have a high-end camera, nor do I have a tripod or anything to put my mic in, or to put my phone on. Um, but yeah, let's get started with the video. So in this computer, I did have a Ryzen 7 2700X. I currently set that out to AMD to get that uh, um, RMA'd and fixed due to the fact that when I tried to do a, a chipset update on my motherboard, the, when I did the chipset update, it fried my CPU, so I had to go get that uh, sent out to get fixed to um, AMD and whatnot. But um, other than that, I have 16 gigabytes of 3000 speed memory from Geo or Gale or I don't want to say the name, but I have the box right here actually. Here's the box. Um, GIL Super Loose RGB is compatible with Ryzen and it's Orsync compatible. Um, it's a dual kit. Um, it's an 8x2 configuration. Like I said, it's 3000 speed, but you can get it to 3200 um, if you know what you're doing. Uh, but um, other than that, I have a 970 Pro SSD um, paired with a 970 Pro SSD. And under the shroud right here, I have two hybrid drives, which is two terabyte, two terabytes each to make four terabytes in RAID zero. Um, I have a ASUS ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard and ASUS ROG Strix Radeon RX 590 graphics card. Now for the cooling, I have a coarse air. Master Liquid ML240L um, RGB a, a CPU water cooler. Now, the way I have the cooling set up on this uh, motherboard or on this computer is kind of weird. Or it's not kind of weird, but it's kind of different. So let me explain how the cooling works on this, right? So behind this shroud right here, there are two fans. So there are four fans in total on this water cooler. So the, fr the front two fans push in air going this way. But it actually push it, pushes in air or pulls in air from the top and then from the bottom down here. But it the air comes in going this way. And then the fans right here pushes in or it pulls in air going that way, like the other direction kind of. Um, the way I have it, or the reason I have it set up like that is to optimize CPU cooling in my uh, computer. Due to the fact that I have, I will, well, I had uh, a lot of... Uh, overheating issues in my computer due to the fact that I do stay in a apartment complex and the way the AC system works or the way it actually cuts on or works in general is kind of weird so like if I need the AC to cut on usually in a normal house it's supposed to cut on at 78 but I need to put the AC at 70 for it to be able to kick on and it's actually an old uh, AC unit system kind of thing but other than that I do have two extra fans for um uh, for exhaust to push the hot air outside of the so computer. So yeah, that's kind of it for the video. But before I actually end this video off, um, I do have a dead CPU in my uh computer, and that CPU is the uh, Athlon X4950 from AMD. Now the reason I have that CPU in the uh in the computer is to get the motherboard to actually light up or to actually uh turn on. And work because without a CPU in the motherboard the uh, computer won't actually uh, start the start up it actually won't even like the RGB lights won't even start to, even to work but um, I'm not gonna actually turn on the computer with this CPU in uh, the motherboard due to the fact that if I do try that then um the motherboard will die but other than that uh, That'll be it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. 
Now, all the links to my social media are in the description box down below, as well as the links to all the parts that you see here in my computer. Um, try and donate to my channel as much as you can, or uh, as as much as of, of an amount that you can, um, just to help me out because I currently I am not I have no way to support my channel, and if I can't support my channel, then I can't make builds or videos for this channel. Um, I am currently trying to make new content every day, and I can't make that content without uh, any cash flow coming in. And due to the fact that I do have under a thousand subscribers, but I do meet the requirements for um, the amount of views, um, I am currently not getting paid on YouTube, and I can't stress this enough that I need to start getting paid on YouTube in order to support my channel and also make money to make also make more videos and content for you guys so if you can donate to my channel the link to my paypal is in the description box down below so please go ahead and donate um as any certain amount it could be it could be 10 cents it could be five cents it could be ten dollars twenty dollars it doesn't really matter um but yeah please try and donate as much as you can with that being said i'm mkc technology I'm out. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.